Hi folks, my name is Danny. Welcome to Danny's Corner. Today I want to talk about what is woke? That's the question that perhaps people have been debating for the past who knows how many years. And certainly there are uh, different uh, definitions and people may agree or disagree. Um, And I would like to certainly chip in uh, with my opinion and uh, see where this conversation takes us. If you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Danny, as I have already said. I am a complete blind person making these videos to make able-bodied people aware of blindness, what it is, and how it affects us. Um, even those like me who have other disabilities besides blindness. So, this entire month is Blindness Awareness Month, and it is about preventing blindness and looking for ways to help people who are uh, partially sighted or completely blind or who may be going that route because of an eye condition. But I take this more uh, further still. It's to make people aware of their spiritual blindness or the spiritual blindness that all of us have at one point or another. And so I not only talk about blindness and the things that I face, um, even with my other disabilities and how blindness impacts or compounds this, but um, also about other things that you might be more familiar with, such as politics other social issues, uh, technology, and so forth. And I always like saying this at the beginning of the video, although this does make the videos a little bit longer, just because I don't think a lot of information has been put out there when it comes to people with disabilities. And so the term woke fits um, at a good spot here because we don't know a lot of things so I was listening to a an interview that was done by David Pakman Uh, he is a progressive um, host who has his own podcast uh, and or show his own YouTube channel. I will link the video that I will be referencing. He did an interview with um, Vivek uh, Ramaswamy. And in the 20 minute mark of the video, they start started talking about this concept. I have heard it before. And before I give you what I believe woke is, I would like to give you um, their definitions. And again, I will be placing the link so you can check it for yourself. And if you have any comments, um, please feel free to share. This video might be a bit long. Uh, I always don't know how long these videos take, but um, I definitely have a lot to say when it comes to these topics. So sometimes there is only one video or two or more devoted to the same subject. It all depends on um, how many things or how many layers there are to any particular topic. And this could be one of them. All right. So according to Vivek Ramaswamy, he says that woke is a symptom. 
and he is going to he defines woke and and why he believes um what's the symptom here he says that it's a symptom and he says that it's a deeper cancer and wokeness is is a world view that says that there are certain invisible social relationships between grounded upon oppression or oppressor relationships and statuses of people based on race gender and sexuality that you're either oppressor or oppressed based on those genetic attributes that there are invisible societal injustices resulting from them and that we have to be awake alert to those injustices and then correct from them left or right i think that that's a neutral definition that describes at least what we're talking about okay that's verbatim what he said and then um the host uh david pakman uh has a different uh definition and he says i have a different one which is much simpler which is simply becoming woke is becoming aware that there are problems in our society bigger than any one person's circumstance that's how i define it and i know that it's very different from what you're saying and then david pack um i'm sorry then uh, uh mr ramaswamy says that's um that's a different definition and one that is set up for more people to agree with it and then um the host starts laughing the point that i'm trying to get across is i think we need to examine these things a bit further and know where they're coming from so um vivek ramaswamy says that it's based on gender sexuality um i forget the other one anyway but it's um oh yeah gender sexuality and race okay fine there's something missing though there's something missing and that's other groups of people who have been oppressed that we may know of and that we may not know of and because i am hosting um this uh show and um this channel is about blindness i'm going to speak directly on the blindness issue and give you at least one or two examples of how woke is um has been like uh, in my life or how it manifests itself so let me give you what my definition is of woke and let me preface this by saying that um I didn't know when I started speaking or coming outspoken about society societal issues and other things that were happening in my personal life I don't place or I have never placed any tags I've never said that I'm a progressive or a conservative or anything like that so 
the first conversation that I had, and even it wasn't related to the word woke, because I didn't know what that was until two years ago. And um, one of the things that I was speaking about societal injustices, including, you know, giving my own experience of what um, things I have faced. And so the person whom I was speaking to said, you are woke. And I asked, what was that? And she said, and this is where I get my definition from. After studying the word, not if it came from any political movement or um, not if it came from um, a particular ideology. This is just from me studying the word and what it means. So she said, woke is a person who is aware of societal injustices a person who is aware of the things that are going on around them. And that's what my definition is. So to me, the reason why I chose this definition is based on the word. When we look at the word awake, what what does that mean? I know it sounds like... If I were to be speaking to five-year-olds or six-year-olds. But sometimes I think it's good to come back and take a refresher course. Because I think a lot of times we miss a lot of things when we get stuck in our ideologies or in our beliefs. And we don't go back to the root. So awake, when you're physically awake. It's supposed to mean that you're alert, that you're aware, that you know what you're doing. Now, that may not always be the case, but that's what it generally means, is to be alert, focus, aware, and um, being conscious of the things that you, you're doing and you're saying, for the most part. And based on that um, definition is where I also um, decided to uh, get this, to stick to the definition that I just said. It's just becoming aware of any societal injustices, no matter who's going through them. Um... I think I'm going to stop it here. I don't know how many minutes I am into the video, but um, definitely there is going to be a second part to this. Um, so if you have enjoyed this uh, video, make sure to stick around for the second part. That's where I'm going to get into the examples. This was just um, an introduction of, you know, different the different definitions there of there are of this word and um yeah so let me know what you think and again i'm going to be speaking from a blind person's perspective and you may have never heard of some of the struggles that we faced if this has been the first time oh uh, watching me so if you care to, please um, watch the other videos so you could get a better understanding of what I'm talking about. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.